Hello and welcome to another CCSP Lab video. Today we're going over the password recovery process on the Cisco ASA. As you can see, I just reloaded the Cisco ASA and I booted into ROM monitor mode by using the break or escape sequence to interrupt the boot process. Uh, just the escape key will work when you see the, uh, the break or escape to interrupt. Um, so we're going to change the configuration register and the configuration register is used to specify how an appliance should boot. The way we do that is we type in conf reg. You want to do is you want to make a note of this configuration register, the existing configuration register. You're going to reestablish or you're going to input this configuration register later on. Uh, the first question is do you wish to change this configuration and the answer is yes. Essentially what we want to do is we want to boot to the default configuration change the passwords and then reload the current configuration. Uh, you're going to select the defaults until you get to disable system configuration which is what you want to do. We'll answer yes to that and also we'll answer yes to if we want to go back to the ROM mon prompt if the device fails to load. Actually we're going to say no to that as well and we'll go default the rest of the way. It's going to give us a new configuration register. Alright, there's no need to take note of that because what's going to happen is you're going to overwrite that later on anyway. After you receive the ROM mon prompt, you're going to type in boot to reload the device. And I'll put this on pause. I'll pause the video while the device is booting and restart the video shortly. Okay, we're back. Once you see the default the appliances default configuration type enable and you're gonna go into privilege mode as you can see it doesn't request a username or password um, or a pa enable password so next what you wanna do is you wanna load the previous configuration so the way to do that is you type in copy start run or copy starting startup config running config and the reason you want to do that again is you want to load the previous configuration that you made the changes to. Okay, once that's done, you type in configure terminal or conf t and you start to enter your new credentials that you want to use. So we'll type ccsp lab123. Enable password. CCSP lab one two three and we'll do a username CCSP lab password CCSP lab one two three okay so now that you've entered your password your enable password and your username with the password uh, you're going to want to save this configuration, but before you do that, you're going to change the config register because this is what you want to boot to, is your previously saved configs. I'll go to my notepad and copy that, bring it back, okay. So this is the configuration register that's going to boot, which was the initial configuration register. Now, you want to type copy run start because you're gonna save this configuration with the password the enable password and the username to the startup configuration which is gonna be this configuration register here okay once we've done that we can reload the appliance and again I'll stop the video and come back um, once the appliance is reloaded okay we're back so now that we received the login prompt or we're going into enable mode now we're gonna type in the password that we saved CCSP lab 123 and we're in privilege mode thanks for viewing another CCSP lab video and good luck on your next exam leave us your comments let us know how we're doing thanks